All right, I apologize that this tank looks really messy right now, and this tank is all green and you can't really see inside of it. You can see the fish, however, they are growing up really, really nice. Today, welcome back, guys. We're working on the angelfish tank. Right now, this tank is a complete mess, so we're going to kind of remodel, give them some like make, make it feel more natural and we're gonna begin right now so the first thing I'm going to do is we've got nine angelfish in here I think I might add some of my Manakapuru angelfish that are um, in my other tank that's over there uh, maybe I'll add them in with them for temporarily but I don't know yet we'll see so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this tank down here this tank you can see is kind of empty there's still a little bit of water in there I'm gonna drain it out and then we're going to move this tank up here because I want the angelfish to sit up here. It's more like eye level and it's going to be more enjoyable for me to watch rather than down there. So I'm going to move this tank up here and this space is going to be empty. And I'll have to get a tank for that spot in the future. I could just go out and get a new tank right now and put it right here. But uh, I, I, right now I don't really want to buy a new tank. So I'm going to wait for the future um, and we'll see when that happens. Yeah, these guys are currently in this bare bottom tank. You can see there's algae on the glass, so I apologize. You can't really see clearly, but the fish are doing really nice. You can see there's a few plants in here as well. We're not going to be taking all these plants out. I'm probably not going to have plants in the new tank. I'm still not sure how I'm going to set it up. We're definitely going to put driftwood in the tank, and we're going to keep these pothos. Uh, you can see there's pothos in this tank and then this is uh this is a philodendron i just got it hanging in these little baskets and the roots go down into the water really nicely so yeah we're definitely keeping this it'll give it like a biotope look with all the roots and stuff so that'll be really fun so i'm going to get started i'm going to drain this tank out clean this area out and we're going to move this tank up here and then we'll go on and discuss further on all right, so I've moved the tank up here. You can see it looks really nice here. And this spot is now emptied. Uh, but yeah, now I've got a question for you guys. But I don't know if it's going to make any difference to this video or not. Because by the time you answer the question, the tank will be done. And yeah, I don't know if I can change it. But maybe I can do something about it in the future. But the question is, so this rack is a 60 centimeter wide rack or two foot. So it's two feet from front to back. And you can see the tank is only one and a half feet, 45 centimeters, 18 inches. And there's this gap there. So right now the tank sits right at the front, perfectly lined up, and I really like this look. But the other look we can go for is this. So you can see right there, uh, I've moved the tank back, and now we've got space in the front. It kind of acts as a storage space, so I can put fish food and stuff like that, even though I don't really want to, because I want to see the tank without any distractions. I'm not sure. I really like the look of it in front, but this perspective is also nice, because now you can see more of that tank over here, and imagine that tank being all planted, fully planted. This tank is well fully planted, all green in here, and then we have another fully planted tank here, then we just have a really nice view here and we can see through this little opening. I really like this view too, but I'm not sure. It doesn't kind of line up with these tanks over here. I kind of like things lined up and looking neat and stuff. And we're going to have a tank down here too as well in the future, the same size as this. So we'd have to either push it back or move it forward. And I don't know which look I like. Let me know in the comments below which look you like. Do you like it pushed back like the way it is now or do you like it forward and nicely lined up. Uh, let me bring it back to the front again and show you guys one more time from different angles and let's see which one is better. And forward once again, let me know which one you prefer. I, pref I kind of, I think I prefer this look. It, it just gives it a more clean feel. Uh, yeah, you can see like no, maybe the gap is too much. It kind of makes things look neat, um, not neat. Uh, untidy I'm not sure but then we've got this space in the back right here which I don't know what I'll do with we might just keep it empty like this or maybe you can see the gap here is very small and I doubt I can get like any potted plants here I was thinking maybe we can put a few potted plants back there but if I have to ever take them out it's gonna be really tricky it's gotta be like really tiny pots 
um, and the plant can't grow tall because if I take it out from top, if it's a tall growing plant, I'm never going to be able to like to take it out of this gap. So yeah, that's kind of a problem I'm having. Maybe you can give me some of your thoughts in the comments down below. But now the exciting part can begin. We've got the tank right here. We can start scaping this tank and today the first thing we need to do is add gravel into this tank. Gravel or sand? I I was thinking of going only sand, but I kind of want to put some height in the back uh, using gravel because one day in the future I might want to add some plants into this tank. So I'm thinking of using this gravel right here. This is a brown colored gravel, really nice natural looking, and I might mix it up with some sand. We can have like sand in the foreground area. And then after that, I'll show you guys the driftwood that I've got picked out for this tank. It's a pretty nice looking two two looking two pretty nice pieces of driftwood also i apologize i currently don't have the proper lights for this tank so i'm using this little small led light just to light it up but tomorrow we'll get lights for this tank and i'm going to be doing the same diy system as i have on this tank right here uh, you guys might have seen me do in one of the previous videos but yeah we'll have that on uh probably by tomorrow <laughs> Alright, I made a huge terrible mistake and well, it's not terrible, but it's actually the next day now and I'll tell you what just happened. Um, so last night I was going through, I was, take, I was thinking, taking my time thinking of what I want to do with this tank and I've decided that gravel is not the choice for this tank. It, it just doesn't sit right. It doesn't look natural with angelfish. So yeah, the plan was to go half gravel half sand as you can see gravel in the back sand in the front and then we have driftwood the driftwood i'll be using are these two pieces look how nice they look these are gonna look awesome but yeah i was gonna have this sit in the middle and then put like sand in the front and maybe some pebbles around and stuff and i think that will look nice but i decided for a more natural look we should just go full sand a thin layer of sand, maybe some gravel here and there. We can mix some of this up and some larger pieces of stones as well. I think that'll look nice, but what I'm going to do now is I'm going to remove this, all of it, but I'm going to split half of it into this tank and half into this tank, and then we can compare which gravel I like better. Um, as I mentioned in the last video, I wanted to compare these two types of gravel. We've got the black and white one with the brownish one. So I can compare them and see which one I like better. And then the one I like better, I'll probably use more of it in the other tanks that we'll set up. But now I got to take all of this out and we're going to use sand. I'm going to use this sand right here, white color sand. So now I got to wash it all again and I'll see you guys once it's all clean. All right, so the hard work's been done. You can see no gravel. Now we've got sand and this white sand is looking amazing. Before, when I did an angel fish tank, I used a slightly different kind of sand. It was more brown in color. It's actually right here. It's a bit messy here, but you can see this sand is kind of darker in color. It's mixed in with some of the same gravel that was previously in here. You can see some of that gravel is still remaining in there. And that's kind of nice. I kind of like that. It gives it texture. So I might actually add a bit more gravel later on. Uh, just different sizes, make it more natural looking. But here is the brown colored gravel in the 45 centimeter tanks, the 18 inches. I think they're 10 gallon tanks, but you can kind of see they look really nice. I really like this, but I kind of prefer this look better. I think maybe I don't like it right now because there's not plants. There's not any plants in there. So in the future, I'm going to definitely add some driftwood in all of these tanks like I have done in this one and we're gonna plant it up and maybe uh, that'll change my mind a bit. I do like it but not as much as this. Let me know which one you guys like better. Finally though we can start playing with the driftwood. My favorite part of aquascaping is all the materials. B building the tank, scaping it, that's the most fun part. Let me know what's the fun part for aquascaping for you guys but for me playing around with materials is my favorite. So we're going to add these driftwood inside and I might add some rocks later on but let's put this in first and see how we like it. Have this here too. Man. Okay, so I said I kind of had an idea of what I want the skate to look like, but I'm not so sure now that I put this in the tank. Like, a lot of, man, like this, even just doing this, this looks good alone. Take a look at this. What do you guys think of this? Like a simple scape, we've got the main driftwood, we've got another driftwood, and I apologize for all the glare. This, this isn't too bad. But yeah, you can see lots of space for the fish to swim around, mostly angel fish in this tank. And I want to add some Corydoras in the future. I think that'll be really nice. So we got a lot of sand for them 
to move around in and sift in so yeah and you can see a little tunnel back there but let me make a few more renditions and we'll see which one is the nicest a few moments later so i think i got it right here it's really simple and the thing that's really nice about simple tanks is that with just two pieces of driftwood like that if i want to ever change it around in the future it will be so easy to do so look take a look at this scape right now it's so simple but if you look from here, you can see lots of space for corridors to go around. There's like a path in the middle, which is really nice. I really love that feature. And then there's space in the back. And if I want to change it up a bit, I can just move this driftwood. So I flip it around the other side. And you've got a whole different dynamic look. You can have like a play area for quarries in this area. And they can still go to the back. And then if I want to even more, I can move it over here. And yeah. I think you guys get it, like you can just play around so much with this driftwood. So right now I kind of like it looking this way, pointing this way because I really like the look of this driftwood. It just looks really cool on this side and kind of pointing that way and this driftwood is also kind of pointing that way. So yeah, that, that's going to be the scape for now. Alright, so I've added some rocks into this tank, one, two and three right there. I'd probably add more rocks in there but I don't have the same types of rock. Uh, as these ones anymore. I mean, yeah, I, I don't have any more of those rocks So probably in the future I'll get some more of different sizes and maybe I can add into this tank But I was really debating i uh, really thinking about what type of rock I would add into this tank at first I was just thinking no rocks just driftwood that would really look nice and simple But I thought having some rocks in here will give it more texture and make it look more natural um, than just having driftwood but for angelfish and the angelfish biotope style tank, I don't really want to use uh, rocks with textures on them uh, that, that are more suited for aquascaping planted tanks. I was thinking of using lava rocks, but lava rocks is also, I don't know if it's like what you'd see in the natural environment. And these rocks that are in this tank, I don't know if this is also like natural. I don't know if this is what you'd see in the wild because I've never been to the Amazon, uh, but I thought angelfish, they come from a river, the Amazon River, and where there's river, you see like river rocks or pebbles and rounded types of rocks, so these were the only rounded rocks, river rocks that I have, so I decided to use them in here, and I'm really liking the look of the tank. Let me know what you guys think. Do you like the look of this, or would you have chosen a different type of rock? Let me know. Alright, so it's been a couple of weeks since I added those two angelfish and the tank has been doing amazing. The reason why I waited two weeks is, first of all, I wanted the angelfish to kind of get comfortable and see how they'd react to this new environment. And also, I was away doing a few fish store tours in a different part of Japan. So, fish store tour videos will be coming soon. I know some of you guys love those videos. So, yeah, stay tuned for that. They'll be coming up in the next few weeks. But right now, the angelfish are doing really well. I'm currently doing a water change on this tank. You can see it is a little bit brown in color. It was even more brown a few minutes ago with all the tannins from the driftwood, and I really like that. The nice thing about black water tanks is you don't get a lot of algae, and the fish also seem to be happier, especially if they come from black water environments like these angelfish. You can see this one is doing really good up here, and then the other one is currently down here. But what I'm going to do next is I'm going to add the rest of the angelfish in. These guys over here, you can see three of them kind of lined up right here now. And then there's a couple more in the back somewhere. But we're going to move them into this tank. And yeah, I think they'll be much happier because they want to be together with their friends. So yeah, let's go and do that right now. The driftwood isn't staying in place, so that's why I gotta put these rocks on them to keep them held down. I know it's super ugly, but I really don't have a choice right now. These driftwood don't want to stay in place, they just want to float up, so I gotta put those rocks on them to keep them held down. Uh, because, yeah, I don't know why, they're just not waterlogged, so I gotta wait a couple more weeks. So imagine this tank with Corydora swimming at the bottom. Maybe a few Cardinal Tetras. I could probably take a few Cardinal Tetras from my contest tank right now, Put it in this tank and they'll, it'll look even better. 
But yeah, see Corydoras in the bottom. Maybe we get some leaf litter or some uh, botanicals, put them at the bottom and it's gonna look so natural. And then these plants, these immersed plants right here, once they start growing even more, the roots as well will just come all the way across the back of the tank. Man, it's gonna be insane. Look at all the angelfish coming out right now. As always, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, be sure to give a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and comment something down below. And if you wanna support this channel even more, you can consider becoming a member, and I'll see you guys next time.